So here in this video, I'm going to tell you five things that you should avoid when writing MATLAB codes so that you can save time, avoid mistakes and make your code efficient and easy to understand. And with this, I want to tell you that just stick around till the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to share a bonus tip and that not only make your code efficient, but it will make your code easy to debug. So with all these things, now let's get started to the video. First thing that you should avoid. So first of all, let's get started with the big one and that is avoid hard coding. Hard coding values directly into your code, it may seem faster initially, but hard coding can make it difficult to update or debug your code later on when you want to change it multiple times. Let us take an example. Let's say we want to calculate area of a circle. So this is the two line of code to calculate the area. When I run this code, it will easily calculate and show us the answer. Now imagine what if you need to update radius multiple times in large script. So instead of hard coding, define a variable that you can easily adjust from one place. Like these two lines, you just take input from the user and do not hard code the value. Let's run this thing and see. It will ask you to enter the value. And there we go. If you want to change it multiple times in the script, this would be easier for you to change it from single place. And another advantage of this method is it will make your code adaptable for different situations. The next is ignore vectorization. MATLAB is optimized for vectors and matrix operations. So take advantage of it. Using loops instead of vectorized operations can make your code much slower, especially when you are dealing with large data set. Here is an example of calculating square of each element in vector using for loop. So let us run this loop and see what's the result. And there we go. Our loop is functioning, right? But I think it's taking too long to produce an answer. Let's wait for some time. <clears throat> uh, I think now I should stop this thing. So we are stopping it. And when we stopped it, it produced around 5,776 values. Now, instead of this, you can replace this with a single line using vectorized operation like this. And this is much faster than the loop function. Now we are going to run this thing. And there we go. All 10,000 values have been produced in just a fraction of time. So by vectorizing your code, you improve its performance and make it more readable. When you're working with large arrays or matrices, forgetting to pre-allocate memory can really slow you down or your code. MATLAB will keep reallocating memory as the array grows, which is inefficient way to code. Now let us take the same example where we are appending the values to vector in a loop. Now let's run this thing. Here we have the result. Here the problem is MATLAB keeps reallocating memory for each new elements added to the data. Instead, you should pre-allocate memory to avoid this. And to do that, just replace this line to create pre-allocate memories of zeros matrix. And now let's run this code. And but first, let's clear all these variables. And now let's run. To understand it better, let me show you the difference between execution time of these two codes. So without pre-allocating memory, it took around 0.018 seconds. And when you have pre-allocated memory, it took around 0.003 seconds. So from this example, we can say that pre-allocating memory is six times faster than without pre-allocating memory. So pre-allocating memory not only speeds up your code, but also saves on processing power. And that's a win-win situation for all of us. Another common problem is overusing of global variables. While using global variables can be convenient, they can also lead to unexpected behaviors in large script. Just imagine that you have a global variable G that represents gravitational acceleration. 
but you also declare g as a local variable in some function in your code so this can lead conflicts or unintended result in your code so you supposed to be very much careful when you are using global variables in your function or in your code instead of this you can try different methods to give variables into your function now at last make sure that you are not reinventing the wheel matlab has countless built in functions optimized for specific task so you don't need to write everything from scratch let's say you want to find the mean value of an array you might be tempted to calculate it manually by yourself and this is the code to do it right so when you run this thing you will get mean value as 3 but matlab has built in function to calculate the mean value and that is more efficient and it will less prone to errors this is our function mean this will calculate the mean value of this data that we have just given let's run this and here you have mean value 1 so using built in functions it will save more time and reduce the chances of error in your code So finally we have reached to the end section of the video and here is the time for bonus tip always document your code with the comments it may seems like an extra step but it helps you and others understand what the code is doing especially if you are revisiting code multiple time after several times like this add comments to your code to explain the key steps this code is simple of just two lines right but when you are writing code for some real applications it will be so long right so make sure you comment on the code as you go it will save you time when you debug the code and someone else is using your code it will be much helpful for them also did i miss any important tip drop your suggestion in comment section and that's it that was the five things that you supposed to avoid when you are writing matlab code Keep following these steps and your coding experience will be smoother and more efficient.